Okay, so what I'd like to do now is I'd like to finish up this problem. So remember we had this electric field here, this uniform electric field that's pointing um, in this ZY plane, um, and it's uniform overall space, it's just always pointing um, somewhere in the ZY plane and always in the same direction there. Um, and then we'd like to see what happens with a um, right circular cylinder here of height h and radius r that we've that we've put right here centered on the origin with the axis along the z, along the z axis we'd like to find out what the total flux is um, like i said before we start off we know the answer to this right because it's in a uniform field we've already said that in a uniform field there is a closed um, a closed uh, surface like this has zero flux. Um, we said that before we went on to say that um, if there are no if there are no charge sources, if there are no electric field sources, no charges in here, then there is no net flux, um, even if the field is non-uniform. Um, but in this case, in this case, it's the sim in this case we have the simpler case, so uh, there's no reason to worry too much about that. Um, where we where we got to was uh, we were getting ready to form a strategy, right? And so we're trying to find the flux, right? The flux was um, this phi e is equal to so the total flux through the surface the surface integral um, e dot n d um, a whatever that whatever whatever this area is um, for for the surface for the coordinate system whatever um, so what we're going to need to do is find n and find e and then we can find phi uh, fairly simple so first we need to find the um, unit normals and that's not going to prove to be a great challenge in this case um, two we need to perf we need to um, perform the dot product uh, because it turns out we already know what e is it's right up there we wrote it down as a vector in the previous um, in the previous doohickey. Uh, so we'll write down a few of those things. Um, then we'll have to uh, set up and um, perform uh, integrals for each for each part. So each part of the, this, the top, the bottom, and the side, um, each one has to have the integral done individually. Okay, and then somewhere down here we'll add them all up. All right. Okay, so I mean it doesn't look too hard. I mean we've got four things to do. That's not going to um, break the bank. We're, we're perfectly good with that, right? Um, so let's look at the top here. So what is the direction out of the top? Well, it's flat, it's parallel to the xy plane, so it has to be in the z-axis, and going out, the, the um, unit normal of a closed surface is always out of the surface, that's by convention. Um, we have z hat, okay? And actually, over here at the bottom, we do everything the same, and we find out that pointing out is in the minus z hat direction. And the final part is the unit normal for the wall. Well, the wall is just like a circle here, right? And which way is pointing out of the circle? Well, it's in the radial direction. So the radial direction is... Um, cosine phi x hat plus sine phi y hat. All right, it's the same one it's always been, same radial direction you've been using for two or three years, okay? Um, so then we want to actually um, perform the dot product. Um, 
So e uh, dot n hat t. Well, that's just um, e sine theta y hat plus cosine theta z hat dot this thing, which is z hat, right? So we just project along the z hat direction. So y hat's perpendicular to that. So we just have um, e cosine theta. All right. And obviously e dot n hat b is absolutely no different. So we have minus e cosine theta. And then e dot n hat w is a little more complicated, right? So we have e sine theta y hat plus cosine theta z hat dot cosine phi um, x hat plus sine phi y hat. And it turns out that this guy doesn't have any pair over here for the dot product, and this guy doesn't have a pair over there. So only the y hat components are interesting. So that's e sine theta sine phi. We're not running into anything complicated, right? Everything makes sense. Everything's easy. So um, phi t then at the at this top um, is the integral over this surface, which is a double integral, right? Um, one of these integrals is from zero to big R, right, from here to here, and one of them is from zero to two pi, and so we integrate this entire area there um, of this thing here, which is e cosine theta, right? Um, the phi element is r d phi, the radial element is, um, or it should be s d phi, excuse me, is s d phi, and um, this is d s for a radial element, and if we do that, we just end up with um, e cosine theta times the double integral 0 to r, 0 to 2 pi, s d phi ds. And this is just the area of a circle, which is e cosine theta, or should, should do pi r squared e cosine theta. Um, phi b, of course, is exactly the same, so it's minus pi r squared e cosine theta. And if we want anything that looks marginally um, complicated, uh, that's going to be phi s. It's only going to look marginally complicated initially. Um, but what's going to happen is when we do this integral, which will include uh, once around and going up and down instead of side, instead of on the interior, we just go around on the um, edge of the cylinder there. Um, so to make this work, we do the h blah, blah, blah. Um, so we have e sine theta sine phi. Uh, now we're stuck on, he on the edge here, so the element for phi is r d phi. And we just have dz here for our element for z. Um, that means we pull everything out. Um, z we can integrate, phi we, we're not ready to integrate yet. So we have e h sine theta times the integral of 0 to 2 pi, oh, e h r sine theta. Which, um, 0 to 2 pi uh, sine phi d phi, this is just zero, so we have zero there. So, we, so we're in good shape. It looks like we have exactly what we expect, so we add in the pi r squared e cosine theta, right? Then we add in the minus r squared 
e cosine theta. Oh, these two guys cancel. And then we add in the zero and everything's zero. So there's no flux through there, just like we said we already knew. So we're good with that, okay? Um, talk to you later.